action. <laughs> Hello, I'm gonna get on here and film a tea review. This is actually like not the usual spot I film at. I usually film upstairs, but now I'm filming in the kitchen because I'm baking cookies. So today I'm going to review, thank you, the Celestial Seasonings Green Tea Matcha. Obviously this is not traditional matcha because traditional matcha is kind of like thicker, I guess, and foamier. I don't know. Ooh, that is scalding hot. Anyway, this is sort of the same color as the Japanese Sencha. Please don't seize my tea. Oh, this I'm is sniffing the cookies. Uh, <laughs> this is the same color as the Japanese Sencha tea I reviewed, like, months ago. And it smells the same, too. It's got, like, that same grassy smell to it, which I know sounds awful, but actually the Sencha tea was really good. What are you giggling about? <laughs> Quit it. It can't be anything nice, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to scold my mouth, but... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> mm. That is really good. <clears throat> it actually tastes really similar to the Japanese Sencha. So, that's cool because... I've been meaning to get more of the Japanese Sencha tea since I tried it, but I've just not gotten around to that yet. This the box. I'm just showing the box. Oh. Anyway, I feel like I might have oversweetened it though. I put in like three sugar packets, but normally I just put in like three sugar cubes, so I thought it was like the same thing. Girl, no, sweet and low is a whole new demon. <laughs> oh well, well I probably oversweetened it, but it doesn't really affect the taste. It just tastes like Japanese sencha, which I know was not very helpful since probably most of you have never tasted Japanese sencha, but to help out with the taste. Um, it sort of just tastes grassy and earthy. Grassy. I know it sounds really gross, but it's actually really good. Oh my god, I don't know what to do if my hair keeps falling in front of the camera. Mm. Yeah, when I got this one, I was like, okay, this can either be really gross or really good, and it's actually really good. And I don't know if, you know, like traditional matcha oh tastes gosh. this way because... Obviously, this is not traditional matcha, because you have to have, like, the whisk and the bowl and everything else for matcha, so. But I really like this tea. And maybe it's, is this, would you say this is the same color as the Japanese sencha? I don't know what Japanese ninja is. <laughs> you, you commented on the video and said it looked like Mountain Dew. Oh, no, that looks more like, never mind. Look up pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> Your pee pee looks like that, you need to go see a doctor. <laughs> no, but I really recommend this tea. But, like, I recommend this tea even though it is, like, a acquired taste, I guess. I like it. It's really good. Do you want to try it? No, I don't. If It sounds like it tastes like dirt. It looks like it, it tastes like dirt. It doesn't taste like dirt. I said it tastes like grassy and earthy. That does not mean it tastes like dirt. <laughs> sounds like dirt. You want to try it? No, I don't want to try it. You're a weenie. I'm a wiener, wiener schnitzel. I'm a wiener schnitzel. Mm. Yeah, you're a wiener Yeah, that schnitzel. is yeah, the tea I'm review. I'm sorry for the chaos, but, yeah. I'm sorry for my hair getting in front of the camera.